Today's topic is becoming a consulting engineer. My name is Jack Gaskell. I am a retired professional engineer and operated my own consulting engineering practice for over 35 years. Today's presentation is sponsored by Professional Value Books Incorporated, the publisher of my books. My engineering books are The Complete Guide to Consulting Engineering, the Outline Guide to Consulting Engineering, and the Consulting Engineer's Guidebook. What do you know about consulting engineering? The first question is, what is an engineer? An engineer is a person who has scientific training and who designs and builds complicated products, machines, systems, or structures. The next question is, what is a licensed professional engineer? A licensed professional engineer, called a PE in the United States, is one who has attained a credential that permits him to provide engineering services to the general public. What is a consulting engineer? Consulting engineers are individuals who because of training in one or more engineering specialties, are licensed professional engineers in private practice. They serve private and public clients in ways ranging from brief consultations to complete design and coordination of projects. They are often the technical liaison between architects, process specialists, contractors, suppliers, and the client. A consulting engineer can provide general consultation, feasibility reports, design, cost estimates, rate studies, project development, patent assistance, and preparation of environmental impact statements. What is a typical project made up of? Architects and building owners, such as hospitals, hire engineers to draw system plans and write specifications for their buildings. Projects typically have five phases. Engineers draw systems plans for their buildings, including electrical, mechanical, which is heating, ventilating, air conditioning, and plumbing, fire protection, which is sprinklers, structural, and civil. The consulting engineer is responsible for designing within the architect's budget limitations and accordance with utility company and inspection authority requirements. At the end of the design phase, the consulting engineer prepares a specification document detailing the material requirements for his specialty and system functions. During the bidding, he attends pre-bid meetings clarifies issues, and prepares addenda for the architect to issue to inform bidders of changes in the requirements. After the contract is awarded, the consultant reviews and approves shop drawings detailing all requirements for his trade purposes. During the construction phase, he visits the job site to record progress and clarify the contract documents. At the completion of construction, he prepares a punch list detailing corrections to the work if needed. Do you want to be a consulting engineer? Being a consulting engineer has the following benefits. First, it's interesting work. Each project is unique with specific requirements, existing conditions, options, and cost constraints. Participation in all aspects. You create your engineering specialty of a project from the study, through design, approvals, bidding, shop drawings, clarifications, construction observations, and the final punch list. You actually see the project go from a blank sheet of paper to a constructed project, one of a kind, you can see and touch. You're not stuck behind a desk. Some of your day will be made up of meetings with clients, vendors, colleagues, 
utility companies, contractors, and others, field investigation, and job observations. Consulting engineering also has some drawbacks. You are in an adversarial position. Your oversight of a project is to make sure that the owner gets the equivalent of what you specified. The contractor typically wants you to accept an inferior project. Your client expects you to protect the building owner's interest, and the owner often wants better than what you specify. The construction industry is cyclical. If you are good at your job, you will usually be working. But if a recession is too deep or lasts too long, you may find yourself unemployed. Deadline pressure. Deadlines are constantly changing, and often there are multiple projects pressing you for attention. Over time and sorting out the top priorities can be stressful. Profitability pressure. Everyone in business is driven by a profit motive, even consulting engineering firms. No matter how good you are at your job, if you can't make a profit for your company, you will not last. Too much work. Consulting engineering firms are reluctant to turn down projects because they can never tell when the current project will be delayed and they may have spent years or more waiting for a project to suddenly get the go-ahead. That creates more stress for you. Too little work. Conversely, too little work is even more stressful. It almost never seems like the workload is steady. You're the bad guy. During construction, the owner sees you occasionally, but sees the contractor almost every day, and friendships are formed. Before you know it, in protecting the owner's interest, you are being too hard on his friend. Being a consulting engineer was the best career choice for me. I started my own consulting engineering practice on my 29th birthday and eventually grew my firm to a staff of 11 and was the largest electrical engineering firm in Rhode Island. I have written three consulting engineering books to share my knowledge with the next generation. My first book was The Complete Guide to Consulting Engineering. In essence, my readers discover step-by-step -step how to start and manage an outstanding engineering practice and exactly how to gain a reputation as an expert in their specialty. This is both a handbook for new engineers and a constant reference manual for seasoned professionals. My second book is The Outline Guide to Consulting Engineering. It is a condensed and abridged summary of the detailed advice provided in the complete guide. It is intended for the engineers looking for just the facts, without the stories and the background. It is intended to be like the Cliff Notes version of the complete guide. My third book is The Consulting Engineer's Guidebook and is an excerpted and extended version of the complete guide. It is the result of requests from many readers to narrow the focus of the goals to becoming an outstanding consulting engineer, gaining a reputation as an expert in their specialty, and obtaining the engineering management skills needed to advance their career and make their firm stand out from their competitors. Before you forget about this mind-blowing presentation, visit my website. Just type the engineer's resource into your favorite search engine and it will be able to find me. Just click on the bookstore and you will find several free downloads. The ones that seem most appropriate for this presentation are the startup checklist, marketing materials, and marketing methods. But don't just take the free stuff. Buy my books. The ideal gift for engineers of all disciplines is the gift package 
It is all three of my books, The Complete Guide to Consulting Engineering, The Outline Guide to Consulting Engineering, and The Consulting Engineer's Guidebook. And use coupon code PAPERBACK and get free shipping. Thank you for your attention. I hope that you will find this information useful.